Hi there, this is Bernie Petrie. I am a little bit later on my Facebook Live than I said I was going to be. Um, I am actually sitting right now in the big room of the Barefoot Sanctuary. It is, I'm looking out to the law. It was really warm and sunny in here and I just felt I really wanted to come in and sit on the ground as I talk to you about the subject today, which is, are you on autopilot? Now, I was, uh, over the last month or so, I've just been getting clearer and clearer. I, I feel like I'm getting clearer and clearer on, on the, the message that I am meant to share. And the, the, the Barefoot talk that I did um, uh, last month will be, will be coming up onto the YouTube channel soon. But there's something I wanted to talk to you about right now, which has sort of been further clarified from coaching people one-to-one -one next door. And it's this whole concept of being on autopilot. Now I believe very firmly now, I can see evidence in my life that there has been an area where I have been on autopilot in a good way. Now you've probably heard the term autopilot maybe before, like you say, I was on autopilot so I drove to work when actually I was meant to go to the supermarket or um, I was an autopilot and the words came out of my mouth that sounded like my mum and I don't know where that came from, it just seemed to come out of me. You're on autopilot. And that is because, a little bit of a biology lesson for me, so I can listen back to this myself, but we have a brain, we have the subconscious and we have the conscious brain. Now in 2010, I experienced a huge breaking open into a conscious part of, of, of me. And in that breaking open, I realized that I was this being of light. I am not purely flesh and blood. I was this being of light and I felt totally immersed in love and I felt this loving presence and was very clear that there was this person, this being inside of this physical form that knew exactly what we were here to do. Now that is my autopilot. That is my conscious, the conscious part of me. And when I look back on my life, I can see that there was a very strong thread where she had kept the autopilot intact. She hadn't put me on manual control. So in the conscious brain, we can be on autopilot. In our subconscious brain, we are absolutely on autopilot too, but not necessarily in a good way. So the subconscious brain is where we have absorbed all of the experiences from our ancestors. We have absorbed everything as a little child like sponges. We just soak it all up without questioning and we do it without even consciously being aware of it. Now I believe that we have this thread in the conscious part of our brain that has been on autopilot and we can use that part of where we've been totally on autopilot to start to weave through and create take ourselves off autopilot in, in the subconscious or actually merge them together so that the only autopilot that is running the show is the conscious mind, not the subconscious mind. Are you with me? <laughs> now, hi, I can see my sisters with me. This is gonna be interesting, hello sweet one. So, what I really wanted to talk about today was how you have this area that you have been in where you have never ever had the manual control. That there's been a part of your life where it just all some the things seem to come through you, happen to you, or whatever, and it, you were never in control of it. Now, for me, and this is what I talk about in the barefoot talk, it was always to do with my love life, physical relationships, personal relationships. I never actually felt that I had any say in the matter. I either felt an attraction to somebody or I didn't. If I didn't, I could not continue it. I was never one of these people that could go on dates with someone or anything like that. I fell deep, I fell heavy every time. But it was also the place where I've had the most bruising, the most rejection, the most sort of licking of wounds to do. And yet I never stopped stepping into that platform. And that is because I believe that that was completely on autopilot. And I was never ever in any danger. So I've never had any, I've never had any bad physical experiences. Never, not one. And my sexual life has been incredibly uh, blessed. It's been very, very pure in, with one person. And, and I used to be ashamed of that. I used to be embarrassed about that. And I can see now that that was my thread. That is where my inner wisdom, my inner being, my eternal self was totally, totally, totally in charge. 
And you can start, and I could start to see that there's this thread because of that one area of my life. If I started to follow the same feelings that I used to have about boyfriends and, um, but really just about boyfriends, <laughs> and then if I could start to trust the same feeling of it just doesn't feel right or it's a yes or a no, if I started to thread that in to my business life, my financial life, my other relationships, every my health, all of these things, I would start, I would be handing over controls to this inner being, this autopilot, and life would feel a lot more fun. And that's what I've been practicing doing over the last six years. And that is what I want to talk to my clients about more and more, because I believe that in each and every one of us, there is an area, one area in your life where you have been on autopilot. Now somebody has talked to me about they're on autopilot when they're working with food, they're on autopilot when they're in the sports arena, they've been in autopilot with uh, family relationships. They have, that's where they have had the most, you know, the, it, no matter what, no matter how many times they messed up, they can, you know, it, it's still the solid, solid part of them that has been instinctively led. And that's what I'm really curious about and that's a conversation I want to have is what part of you have you been so instinctively led that you cannot um, you, you cannot over, overrule it, you can't take it into manual, it's like it's on autopilot. And actually, if you look back, it seems you would almost dismiss it as not being a big deal, but it's actually the clue. It's the clue that the divine has left in you to show you this is what it feels like when I'm in charge. And if you can start to lean into the same feeling and make decisions in all aspects of your life in the same way that you do, whether it's in your love life, in the kitchen, cooking, finances, business, whatever. I've had quite a few conversations over the last few weeks and it's incredible where each of us have had most cobwebs, most heartache, most bruises. That is the area where that's where our, that's the golden thread, that's the clue. And that's what I'm really keen to explore. And that's what I'll be exploring with every single client that comes to coach and every time I get an opportunity to talk about. So I would just love you to think about that and love you to, uh, if you can, you know, if you've got more questions on it, because this is what I'll be writing about next year, please send them through to help me get clearer on how I respond and, and to sort of, so we can have this conversation because it's through this conversation that is becoming clearer and the penny is dropping within me deeper and obviously for the people that are that want to tune into what I do have to say. Um, I spoke to a coach, another coach about it the other day and one of the revelations that came out of that was that um, it's an area of, she, she can never be out of integrity. So anything that leads her to be out of integrity, she cannot do. Mine, because of it was to do with my love life, I realized it was to do with passion. And if I look at clothes, uh, even um, business opportunities, unless I was passionate about it, unless I'm passionate about anything, I cannot do it. Now, the weird thing about that is that um, I did a test a few years ago and it says how I, it was called a how I fascinate test. And a lot of my family, my sister who's watching, she's done it too. And it shows you how the world sees you. And actually, it makes total sense. So this, my, my friend who's a coach of a totally respect in her field, she, her number one way that she shows up is integrity. When she did that test, mine was passion. And that ties in completely with my whole personal relationships. So if the passion isn't there, it's a no-go. And for her, if the integrity wasn't there, it's a no-go. So if you've ever done the How I Fascinate test, I would love to, by Sally, Hogshead. I would love you to re-look at that and, and you know have a conversation with me about whether that starts to make sense with regards to, to the thread. Okay, so that is really all I wanted to talk to you about today. I've written a little poem um, about it which I just wanted to, to finish to read. And um, if you haven't been to the Barefoot Sanctuary and you live close enough to drive here, come. It's an amazing place. The things that happen in here are brilliant. We have a barefoot talk tonight with Faith Cantor. And I've just walked, people have just left here having had a morning of yoga and mindfulness. And it's incredible to see how coming here is helping them to tune in to this thread. So here we go. I left you a clue 
undamaged, intact. It's the thread that burns brightly. You must weave from that. What is this thread? Where you have the most cobwebs. It's the one where you have been courageous and wise and fully alive. Look inside and you know it's your springboard to me and this journey will feel like a dance through the trees. Like a spider who spins as she remembers it all, the web of your life will be plain to see. Tap into me, tap into me. And that's what she's asking us, he, she, if you're a man, it's that inner, inner wisdom is asking you to tap in and do in all aspects of your life what you do in that one where you literally are not in charge. I have never been in charge with who I fell in love with, how I felt physically. It has been totally, it's been out of my control and yet it's the one, and now I see it's the one area where if I remember that same feeling, it's, it's making a huge difference in all aspects of my, my personal life, my business life, my family life, everything. So there you go. What is your golden thread? What is the area in your life where you are most on autopilot, but in a good way? Send me an email. Let's have this conversation. And um, thank you for joining in. Bye for now.